Your Honor, I speak on behalf of myself and my husband. Um, we are John and Angela Collins, and we're the parents of Carmen and Cynthia Collins. I can't stand here and tell you that we had a perfect family. Neither can I tell you we had one that was filled with issues. I will tell you that our lives were changed in a manner that we would have never dreamed of or believed if we were told it was going to happen. We lost one of our most precious girls on that July 3rd day to death, but we also didn't have our daughter Carmen because she was being sought as the responsible party. There are no words to express our feelings of grief. We still breathe heavily and we continue to ask God to the strength. We don't know what happened in our home on that day, but we do know that no reason or excuse can be given for our idea of losing her life. Our girls were very close. They loved each other heavily, never fought. They never held. They only had a few arguments and passed a few weeks, but nothing more. Carmen started being influenced by older people, and we started having a few problems with her in the last year. I must say that she, she has never been disrespectful, never violent, never tried to hurt any of us or herself, or never do anything that was displeasing to us. I can say she ran away a couple of times. We brought Carmen home, and she came with her plan to finish high school or uh, obtain her GED and to go on to the military. She was so happy to be home, and we were so happy to have her home. She went to church that Sunday with her grandma, and she came in with the little Bible her sister had given her. She began reading the Bible, and she made a patient in her little book. And today was the start of my new life. We went to the fireworks show. She and India stayed up until 4 o'clock along with us looking at movies, and they were in and out of our room cooking breakfast. We all laid down at 4.30 and we woke up late that Tuesday day. We asked Carmen and India, like always, if they wanted to come with us. 95% of the time, our girls are with us everywhere we go. But this particular day, not unlike any other time that they may decide they want to stay home, only if the other one wanted to stay. And they both decided to stay home. 30 minutes of our time away from them, we come home to the most horrific tragedy. India idolized her sister, and Carmen was that big sister that loved her and took care of her sister. We know something happened there in such a very quick time that took both of our girls away from us. India's favorite sign has always been the peace sign. And I know God makes no mistakes, and he was ready for our baby girls to come home to him. We would never physically have India with us again, but I know she's with us spiritually. She's telling us like always, just like she has always told us, it's going to be all right. We long for the day that Carmen is back with us, and we still love her and always will. Those are forever our girls, and Carmen will forever be in our lives. And we will always love her and support her, and everything.